gel press plate here, the 8x10. I've got um, a bunch of stencils here. They're, they're more um, organic stencils. This one is Cluster Leaves. And these are flower. This is a deconstructed flower. And these are Tracy Batista um, stencils. And I like them because they don't have the, the square, the edge around them. So let's start with this one. And the first thing I want to do, I want to kind of build up some really thin layers. So instead of putting my paint onto the gel press plate, I'm going to put it on some palette paper here. And then I'll use my brayer. To apply it to the plate and I want to mix some colors together let's I always like to add a little bit of this aqua color in just for fun okay I'm just gonna brayer this gives me a much thinner layer of paint onto my gel press plate and it It'll, it'll give me some really fun layers. I've got some some cardstock here. And I've got a dog here in there. Okay, and then I'm going to put my stencil down. And I think I am going to this. Now I'm going to pull print with the stencil in place. That's so cool. There's my print. And then I'm going to take my stencil off. And then I'm going to pull another print. So I get a couple of prints out of this thin layers of paper. So there I've got my, I've got kind of a negative and a positive. So I've got some really cool effects here. really love about this is all of the little lines that come up when you do it in this way when you do the really thin layers you see all of the detail that comes up okay let's change colors I'm gonna get cleaned up and then I'll come back do is you can take a texture you can take a texture and put the texture over it to 
add some interest. things you can do with stencils and I want to show you something I'm really fun to do with these prints because they're kind of plain right but that's okay because I'm gonna jazz them up a little bit so the acrylic paint that I used when I was making these prints is going to resist any kind of water-based medium and uh, what I'm using here are spray inks uh, they are water-based and I'm just adding a couple of different colors and a little bit of water to dilute them and then a paintbrush to spread it around a little bit to make it a less sprayed look. You'll see that I'm dabbing off the excess spray ink so that it will dry a little bit faster and also takes off the color from the acrylic paint areas. So this one is so cool. The, the pretty color combination of the blue and the green is really fun. Um, so anyway, um, I'll be back in a minute to show you what I'm going to do with all these prints once they dry. make little art cards with my initial on the front and um, to give out to you know when I have an art show or if I'm selling my art I'm thinking about doing a booth somewhere I can I can put my name on the back um, with my information on the back kind of like a business card but these are going to be more like a just like a card front and I'm going to mount them on probably just white or maybe outline them with some some color. But I'll do one and I'll, I'll just show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to cut them down and they're going to be so awesome. So here are all the cards. And I decided I want to go back with the stencil and define a little bit more. Um the areas. So I lined up my stencil where it was on the card 
and then I just, you know, use some, some paint. And this is what I come up with. It's just, you know, here's the, here's the original and here's, it just kind of amps up the contrast a little bit. So they, they really pop. And if I wanted to, I could go around and do some doodling. Um, but because these are just real simple thank yous or, you know, information cards, I'm just going to do, um, I'm just going to do this. Mm -hmm. 